Hello, my homebrews, or how goes, everybody? My name is Sam Chan, welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound Zero. In last episode, we went through the zoo, and now we have to find out what's making this wonderful, wonderful noise. So let's check out the rooms. You can get encounters in here, just so you know. And a present. Check it out. And with the present, there was a rope. Sam got rope. Uh, that can tie up enemies, just so you know. So let's see what's in here. I'm gonna save because counters and some rooms are just pointless. Check Sam open the present. There was antidote. Sam got the antidote. Dolt. So yeah. Um you know what? I'm gonna go to those rooms last for whatever reason. And I think we're good. Okay, so this is where the boss is. Let's um heal up. And try life up. Same recover 29 HP. Let's fight. Check it out. Suddenly, from inside the capsule, that's Starman Jr. So, yeah, the only thing we can really do is fight it. And if you see that little symbol right there, if you in the game Undertale, if you look at Papyrus's like clothes, you'll see that symbol too. Just interesting fact. So you can probably use like some spell like defensive down or defensive up or something. This guy will just basically run out of magic because he's going to keep uh, casting PK Beam Roll after on you, which is just going to bounce back to you or back bounce back to him and it's not going to do anything. Or you can do that. Holy shit. Um, good. Let's use Life Up Cream. Yep. That was so good. See, we told you you needed that. I think Life of Cream's in one of the other rooms, too. Come on, use PK Beam Roll. Or we can just win. That That's also good. Oh, God, that sounds wonderful. Oh, the odd sound that drove the animals insane died down. The zoo once more became a safe place. Oh, thank God. Oh, that hurt my ear so bad. Hey, present. Check. Check over the present. There was Life of Cream. See? Told you. There's only one thing in every room. And let's check these ones. See what I mean? Some rooms are empty. Yeah. And this one we have rope again. There's bread. Same got bread. So if you go on to goods, damn it. So if you go on to goods, you can see that you can either use or eat stuff. The only difference from that between the two for like food items is that just because of bread. Because if you use bread, you're gonna drop a bread trail, and when you trace those back, then, well, you'll find your way back to where you started. When we eat bread, it heals you. So, let's look at a monkey. Check one. One of the guys see the amazing singing monkey. The singing monkey singing with passion. Oh, that sounds great. Yes, I remember the tune. Now we have three of the. Three of the, um. Three of the eight melodies. So, yeah. And we're not three eighths of the way through the game. Hell no. We're about... Not even halfway through it. I mean, no shit, Sherlock. Um, like... I don't know, probably like a quarter way through it? I'd say. So now that we got that, let's just go completely east. And just keep going east for a long ass time. Because we need to get home to our mommy. So we can heal up. And... What I was going to say before that snake interrupted me was, check this out, City Zoo, 700 meters west. And now we just go south, and this leads you back to Podunk. I just smashed two hippies in a row on the way down here, and, I mean, there weren't two hippies at once, but they're separately, so we're all just going to cut those out separately, or all together. So, yeah, that's all I have to say. And I picked up a magic herb, well, that's good, because we had to use that other one. And we're back from multiple random encounters. God, I'm sorry I'm not speaking at all. It's just I keep getting in so many encounters. I just don't want to. And because I'm doing this, I think we're safe. Yes. Nope. Eh, well, screw it. I'll leave it in. Because this is one of the most unique music's in the game. This, which I don't remember what it's called. 
It's literally called Encounter with a Hippie. I am one-shotting everything here. Literally. Like, nothing can stand in my way. I'm a cold hard killer. So let's go up north to Mommy's house. I like Mommy. And... No encounter? And let's keep this going. Oh, Pippi, by the way, your metal thing did shit. So, yeah. Oh, you have been wounded. I'll cook, pick deal. Eat your dinner and rest for the night. Thanks, Mom. Ugh. When you want to eat, people just come back here. Thanks. So Sam, I grabbed the telephone. This is your dad. I've transferred $954 in your bank account. Not the amount you spent. The balance is 4016 Damn, that's a lot of money. Well, the next level requires 110 or 105 for Simon. By the way, do you want to save? Yeah. Well, I was thinking of going to sleep now. I've saved your progress so far. Good night. And just like your mom, you never want to stop. Please don't push yourself so hard. Slam. So, yeah. Um. Ugh. So now, we have to get high. You're going to say, what do you mean by that? Well, we have to go to a pillar that's going to get us high. And that's to the east. And what do we have here? Another hippie. They, they really don't have any hippies in Mother 2 or Earthbound. That's why I kind of like this game. Female also has like kind of a better story, I think. But Mother 2 has better gameplay, in my opinion. But yeah, also better graphics, obviously. This is like the oddball of the uh, three, because this is only 8-bit one. All the other ones are 16 bit, or probably Mother 3 is probably 32 bit, but it just looks like it's 16, and so forth. Hey, we killed Wally there. Wally. And a crow. We're killing everything. Had your kids, had your ass, because we're going to kill them too. My god. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. Don't get in to an encounter, but unfortunately we did, with another fucking hippie. God damn, I've never been so pissed at liberals before. <laughs> so many political windows. Ugh. Come on, go north. Don't get encountered. Come on. Yeah, too bad. And who is it? Ooh, a little saucer. That's good that it kept talking. Do, are we gonna one-kill it? Oh my fucking god. That was amazing. Let's see what else we got up here. Oh, this is a centipede. Nothing special. And a stray dog, which later in the game, that will become a boss. But like, it's only this strong as you fight it now, which is weird. Hey boss. What funny, if you come back here early in the game, they'll say something like, oh, there's been a curfew and so on and so forth. Although I can't see why travel was ever restricted, or that you can communicate with telepathy. Have you heard all the people talking about you? But you probably don't need to listen to them. Hey, let's see what they say. PSI, telepathy. I tried telepathy, nothing happened. Boom, great. Deep in the cave, there's a strange rock-like thing. It's so strange, you definitely should check it out. I think the police should tell you not to check it out. Maybe that's why they blocked it off. I don't know. I think if you go north, you can go to another, the next town. But we need to check out this rock. Before, or but first, uh, let's battle with a little saucer. Not a flying saucer, but a little. little. It's not even a little saucer, it's a little. And a little. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I just realized our HP is 69 and we have a PP inch of 37. <coughs> PP inch of 37, Jesus Christ. Ooh, spooky scary. Come on, up, up. What the hell? Who are you talking to? Well, let's check it out. Wait, a voice is speaking into Samuel's mind. PSA telepathy. Let's have you fill out this question enter his mind. Who has lost his tail? Find the, finding the entry in great grandfather's diary. Samuel read, read out loud. The forgotten one of the ship that sails the cosmos. Holy shit. What the fuck? Um, you feeling okay there, Sam? I'm a swimming cat. Have you heard of a magic candy that gives strength and power to a helpless child? No. 
I see, but you are not helpless, so you don't need it. I am helpless? What the f- where the fuck am I? Uh, uh, I, I don't know. Mommy, help me? You're a strange person. Oh, for some reason, I like you. Thanks? Uh, what the fuck? I wish I could go into the castle to see Queen Mary. Okay, sound, sounds, sounds have fun with that, kid. If you need the benevolent old man, go to Queen Mary's fountain for his help. He will hear your soulful cry and come to help. Soulful cry, remember? Soulful cry. I don't think I've ever talked to him before, that guy before. Hello, boss. Are you the great interpreter? Would you like me to give you the big bang? Yeah. Can I borrow your cash card? Sure, why the hell not? You're probably not an identity th thief or anything. So basically, he's going to give you something really good in return for giving up your credit card for a little while. Trust me. You're the great interpreter. I'm the mysterious mimicker. I transferred 169 into your bank account after the amount you spent. The balance is 1500 whatever. Better reminds me why is the next level card blah 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 blue. I don't really care. But I was thinking of going to sleep now. I've saved your progress so far. Good night. Yeah, continue. You never want to stop. Please don't push yourself too hard. Slam. And what's to you? What's to you? I'm the talking bro. I'm taking this broken earring to the fountain. I bet it'll change into a magic earring. Probably will. I'm not gonna talk to every single person, but just a lot on these websites. Pull a red weed in the place in the fountain. Oh no. Oh no. We have to pull weed. I have to put weed into a fountain to make a magic herb. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, hi? I'm the mysterious goods keeper. Have you a need? Yeah. Uh. I mean. Ah, uh, really. Be careful. I'll, I'll try. Uh. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Talk, my, that's a strange feeling you wear. Surely monsters will come after you those clothes. Uh, thanks for telling me now. Come on. I'm so embarrassed, I wish I could crawl into a hole. I don't feel... <laughs> it's okay to feel sorry. Yeah, that's all of it. I guess I'll go in this home right here. Uh, I've never really took the time to talk about this. It's uh, serious. Okay, pointless. Um, no, I'll go in. So yeah, and then you have hospital, hotel, and... Where the fuck? Let's go to the hotel. You're not it. I don't know what you are. You're the hotel, I presume. Have you met a man that who says I cannot part with someone who I've not met? Oh, you should meet him. Oh wait, these are not who I was thinking. They they were. I tend to think the same way too. Who's the guy with the ocarina? Are you it? Are you bothered by unhappiness and misfortune search? No. Is that right? Trouble searches after you. Hmm, that's too bad. Thanks. Um, are you saying you're gonna kill me? You deserve to never find trouble. Stay home. Sorry, jeez. Okay, so this is a hotel. This is supposed to be a musical. No, nope, god damn it. Blah, blah, blah. So, you've given up. Great. That's a hospital. Here's the hotel. Oh, Traveler, why don't you enjoy a meal at our house? Well, today's special, can you guess what it is? Is it Picadillo? Why, yes it is! Well, I knew you liked Picadillo. Do you want some? Sure. Thanks, your bed is ready. Please sleep well. Yes, say yes to get a bed. So, I am going to end the episode here, my home bruise. So, till next time, we will go further into this weird fucking place and find out what the hell is going on. Until next time, my homebrews, have a wonderful, wonderful night. Goodbye.